Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VGU Plays The Banner Saga. I am Don the Expert of Coles from VideoGamesUncovered.com And this game, I have been told, is pretty darn amazing. If you're interested in The Banner Saga, you can check out our review of the game in its entirety on VideoGamesUncovered.com and during this playthrough I'm hoping to have some of the other VGU crew members on board that have played the Banner Saga to give me an idea as to how they admire the game. As you can probably see, I have never touched the Banner Saga. This is fresh and I was suggested by the other crew members to do this blind as a bat. So let's have some fun. And step into the world of the Banner Saga. Story changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Alright, cool. Let's have a look here. The gods are dead. Great way to start it all off. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenu... A Tenuous Alliance, can't bloody say anything today, driving black destroyers called Dredge Deep into the northern wastes. And I didn't read that entire thing, but you probably did. It's made by Stoic. Great group of guys, because this game looks amazing. Just look at the art style. <laughs> It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Oh, I cool. Sounds like a good venture. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Work. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. Sounds like a tough job. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Alrighty. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Sounds like a plan. Setting on fire the torches by the looks of things. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Looks like one of those old school TV shows. A, a great art style. Break up the party. Ooh. Well, this just got interesting pretty quickly. I, I love how they speak in their own native tongue. That's fantastic. I'm digging that. Okay, you've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men and now we're looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Click and drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue, okay? Well, my surroundings are pretty... pretty away. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. It's your turn to act. I'm controlling Shield Banger, who <laughs> I love that name. Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. 
Okay, that's fair. So you have a move order, and I'm guessing after the move order you can then attack. So, kind of like the tactics in XCOM. But I guess if you go past that, you won't be able to attack and it's just known as an elongated move this turn, or a dash. Some characters feel more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Val, who take up four tiles each. While humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Okay. Click the tile you want to move to. Then click the check mark to confirm. Move your shield banger here to get him in attack range. Okay, let's let's move him. Nice animations. Love it. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Ally tiles are blue, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. Okay, click the tile. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon, 2 and 5, show the damage you would do to that stat. Okay, so if I were to hit him... If I were to hit against his enemy's strength, his strength would go down to zero. If I was to hit his armor, it would only go down to two. Okay, what if I hit him with this? Hit him with strength. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you'll know means you'll now do two less damage. Okay. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Ah, got you, got you. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. Got you. If the enemy has only 5 strength remaining, a strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to attack his strength, then confirm your choice. Okay. And confirm. Ooh! He's down! Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. Alrighty, I got you. After taking action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Got you. Despite being a full strength, the chieftain will do a little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Only one by the looks of things, okay. Now it's your warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of his enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. Okay. By clicking on gold tiles, a character can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemy show how close you have to get to be in range. Move your warhawk into range now. Okay, I got you. And um, you can have eight willpower. Ah, I see, I see. That's an interesting resource. I like it. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special attack that gives him a unique advantage. Click your Warhawk's tile to access his ability. Alrighty. And what have we got here? Tempest. Normal strength damage to two, ad two adjacent enemies, starting from target and going clockwise. Nice. Tip below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Yep, so I select this guy. Confirm it. Oh. Oh. Ouch! You 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 can feel the power of that blow. That's that's a that's that's quite hefty actually, I love it. Okay, that made quick work for Chieftain's bodyguards. When there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. Nice. If a character does not move on this turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Okay, got you. This other chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Okay. So I... Oh, click your your tile. Click the fist, and then the stars above the fist. Okay, click the fist, and then the stars above the fist to add willpower. The number of stars available each turn are determined by your exertion stat. You'll see the damage number go up as you add willpower. Click a star, 
and then the green check mark to kill the enemy. Okay, here we go. Ooh! I'm gonna... I'm gonna love... I'm gonna like this already, but I can already see the willpower resource is gonna be something you need to definitely manage when you get into the later battles.